welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're joining me today. I have a massive list in my notebook of areas to declutter and organize around our home. It is a long list. And I love to do this every season at the beginning of the season to just sort of refresh, declutter stuff out that we're not using anymore, reorganize it, our space before decorating for the fall season. It is just a great way to reset and prepare for the season ahead. So like I said, we've got lots to do. I am not trying to get this all done today. I'm going to be working on these projects, these areas over the week and maybe even next week because I don't want this process to be stressful or overwhelming as it often is. Decluttering, organizing, they can be very overwhelming tasks. So I'm going to also be sharing ways that I am decluttering, organizing, getting things done without getting stressed and overwhelmed. And I hope that is helpful for you. These are reminders for myself as well as I'm working on all these projects over the next couple of days. I do hope to decorate a bit for fall next week and get more into the fall groove and rhythm and baking fall things and stuff. So having our home just reset I know will be so, so helpful. So if you have some decluttering or organizing to do or just some housework in general, I'd love for you to join me. And I really hope that you enjoy this video, that it is an encouragement to you and an inspiration and that hopefully you can glean some little tidbits or even just reminders for yourself as you might be decluttering and organizing this season as well. So one of the first things that I want to share is I find it so helpful to start with an area that is very manageable. So for today, I'm not going to start just like going through my entire entire kitchen. I'm going to choose a smaller task to kind of get the ball rolling, check off something small so that it kind of has a ripple effect and I don't get overwhelmed right off the bat. So I actually started some decluttering yesterday and organizing. I went through our TV media console. I was able to declutter some books out and also relocate those books because I have a 13 month old who is just constantly taking them off the shelf. That's fine. That's the season that we're in, but I just thought, you know what? I'm going to put these away because we don't need them readily available right here. And then I also spent some time organizing a little drawer up in our dining area. This has kind of just become a catch-all area, which it's helpful because it takes stuff out of sight, but then I just have to go through it, relocate items. I went through all of my pens and markers and pencils and just reorganized those, decluttered some out that I don't use anymore or that just don't work anymore. So that felt good yesterday to get the ball rolling. Today, I have some time now while my baby is sleeping to pick a couple of areas. So I'm just going to consult my list and then <laughs> We'll go ahead and get started. So we have this shelf here in our living room upstairs. There's not really any problem with it, but I am just going to go through the books that are on here. They're just a little bit more decorative, so I might move some downstairs. I know this shelf could use a good dusting, but we're gonna focus on that next week when I'm cleaning. But I also thought it might be a good idea to have some different storage down here. The lower shelves are what often is reached by my little guys. So I might actually put like even some toys down here in a basket. Not totally sure, but we're just going to reorganize here a bit. tidied up a little bit. I'm just going to leave it for now because next week I know I'll be adding some fall decor here. And we are decluttering out a few things. I have some books to part with so that feels good as well as this little cactus. I'm going to also part with this. I'm just going to toss the cactus and donate the little jar because I just feel like with a toddler, a little cactus is not the safest thing to have. And it's just not really, it's just not really doing anything for me. Another tip is to carry around a trash bag with you when you're decluttering because then you can just easily take any garbage that you find and toss it in or recycle it. While we're here, let's just take a peek in this piano bench. I have no idea what we're going to find. Okay, all these magazines, I'm going to send these back downstairs because I have our fall ones to bring out. This is a case for my tripod, which goes somewhere else. So we'll relocate that. Well, it's 
the next day in the afternoon and I have some time to work a little bit in our bathroom. Something else that I like to do is just use natural timers throughout my day to focus on a project like this. So I have some cinnamon rolls that are rising in the oven and so I'm going to spend the next 26 minutes or so working on the drawers in our bathroom, the closet where I keep towels and stuff. I have a trash bag with me. I have my box of things to get rid of. I definitely want to go through my makeup. I just have like too many makeup situations going on and I know I have stuff that I can get rid of. So this has been on my list for a while. It's gonna feel good to get this done. Okay, I'm definitely gonna toss this. I don't even use those makeup sponges anymore. This foundation, um, I might hold on to this. What is this? This is bronzer. I think I will keep that. This I'm going to toss. This is like my travel thing and we were out of town last week. I still have not like unpacked. I don't actually really unpack it. It pretty much just stays like this for any time that I just need to grab it to go traveling. This is where I actually keep my makeup that I do actually use every day. So I think everything in here can stay. I don't really use these anymore, so I will get rid of these. That's trash. Okay, now I have my makeup that I use every day. So I just have one location that is great. These I'm just gonna put in storage. I don't use these every day, but I will use like bronzer um, sometimes if I'm like putting on more makeup. So I'll keep those in here. Okay, I know that I definitely want to take everything out of this drawer and just reorganize it. And then also down in here, there's some stuff. It's not too bad, but I'll just give it a quick tidy. and flat iron in the back. This comb I never use. And also I have this mirror, but I have another one in the cupboard underneath, so I'm going to donate these. There's so many hairs in these bobby pins. That is so gross, just like loose hair in here. You know what, I should actually put these in the of better this does not overwhelm me anymore so that's awesome okay I just checked the timer in the kitchen I still have like 12 minutes so I'm going to attempt doing this like linen medicine cabinet closet I don't think it'll be too bad I think I should be able to get it done in 12 minutes this is what we are working with not too bad it gets a little crazy down here I enjoy having these bins up here for just like kind of random stuff like cotton balls um traveling stuff so i'm gonna go through these i would love to get like actually nice bins up there but for now we're gonna work with what we have that's something else i like to do when i'm decluttering not just going out and buying bins because they look pretty i love all of the linen closet inspiration on pinterest this is not pinterest worthy i know that i'm okay with it we're working with what we have another sort of pain point is this tote that i keep bath stuff in like baby bath stuff but i would like to reorganize this and i think i'll probably find a lot of stuff in here that is actually just trash like empty boxes and stuff so i think the easiest thing is just going to be to just remove a couple bins at a time to go through i do also have this bin that i used to put makeup stuff in so i can always use that if i need it okay i have some old i don't even want to say the word of these tests I'm gonna throw these away. <laughs> I think we are definitely done with that era. Thank goodness. Okay, these I'm just going to actually just keep it in here. Okay, this is kind of just random stuff. Also, this is a bath thermometer. I think I'm going to part with this because I feel like this was really helpful as a first time mom, not knowing like 
how warm the water should be. Now I have a pretty good idea. So for next baby, I don't think I will need this. So I'm gonna declutter this. Okay, I think I'm gonna put stuff like refills like this. This was all stuff from like our baby shower. Which I'm so thankful to have. Also, we had three baby shampoos in the shower, so I'm going to put these ones in here for now because we just don't need them in there. I have a bunch of toothbrushes. I'll just leave these in here to stock up on. And I think what I'll actually do is take some of the like baby medicine type things like the snot sucker, the thermometer, those are in the nursery. So I think I'll actually put those in this basket once my son wakes up and then it will kind of be with all the rest of our like healthcare items. I don't fold things anymore. I just toss them in. <laughs> it's already so much better. These two little baskets fit perfect. Again, we're working with what we have. I know they don't match. That's totally fine with me. Um, so we got our refills back there and then our claws that are easily accessible. Now we're gonna move on to this mess. You can see these are already labeled, so I'm gonna try to skip to um, stick to the labels but I do have my label maker that I can make new ones if need be. Well, my timer did go off, so my 12 minutes are up. I still, I don't have anywhere else to be. I'm feeling motivated to still get this stuff all cleared up. So we're gonna keep working a little bit. That's why I like the timer system because I find I often, like once I get started, it's like a ball just continually rolling and I just keep wanting to get some more done. So we're just gonna keep chipping away at it. the last time we used melatonin there's only a few of these left i feel like this has been here for a long time so i'm gonna toss those i guess i gotta keep these around for this second time around This looks so much better. I was able to just get rid of a lot. I feel like there was just like a lot of trash that I got rid of. So that feels great. This is basically like medicinal type stuff, vitamins, um, rubbing alcohol, and then like sunscreen, band-aids. Well, it looks much more organized. I did switch these two shelves. So I put more of like the baby stuff. So toothpaste, refills down there, and like the stuff that I don't want little hands reaching. A little bit further away from the floor and then down at the bottom we just have our baby bath and scale last things to go through these two little totes that i keep under my side this is all the nail polish i own but some of these are old i don't use so i'm gonna go through this and this hopefully we can get rid of some more stuff This is our little declutter pile. I never use hairspray. This is almost gone anyways. So I also never like use a nail cleaner. So I feel like I just keep my nails like short enough that I don't really need that. So I'm gonna um, declutter that out. This chopstick has been here forever. I don't like this kind. I don't even know why it's here. I have a different waterproof mascara, so I don't need to. And then these nail polishes are just they're old, they're goopy, um, and this color, it's kind of like a taupey brown. It doesn't really go well with my skin color, I think, so I'm going to part with those. Also, this blue, I have this other blue that I like a lot better. So this is what I'm keeping, just my little, little collection. These eyebrow shapers, I'm actually going to keep in here in kind of my restock bin. And actually, my nail polishes, too, can just go in there because I don't use them very often. And that's actually something else I like to keep in mind. If I'm not using something super often, I don't want it, like, easily accessible. That space can be used for things that I actually do reach for often. Nail polish, I don't reach for. I don't need it here um, in my, like, main cabinet. It can go further away, and when I need it, I can just grab the bottle and go from there. 
As for what I am keeping down here in this cabinet, oh, I also found these down here that I don't use. This Naked Brush I don't use and this chapstick. I don't like the taste of it. And then this um, lipstick was also a gift. Um, like I got it for free and I just don't use it. So I'm going to get rid of those. And then down here we just have like mousse that I sometimes use, dry shampoo, hair dryer, nail polish remover at the back my main makeup bag and then this mirror that I will sometimes use like if I'm doing my makeup in a different location I'll just carry that around with me and I love how minimal and just low upkeep this is same thing with this drawer that we already did I love how few things are in this whole area my next tip is to reward yourself with many a fun drinks while you are decluttering. But in all seriousness, I feel like this is a great way to get some quick motivation if you're just struggling. For me right now, it is the afternoon. It's a few days later and I don't really feel like decluttering, but I have the time to do it. I have nothing else really to that needs to be done right now. And so I'm going to take advantage of this opportunity with a little help from a fun beverage. So I am here in our bedroom and I'm going to go through as much as I can. Drawers, my nightstand I need to go through. There's a big pile of clothing over here. That's all clean laundry. I'm gonna go ahead and tidy that up first. And while I just chip away and work, I'm gonna share a few other tips and tricks that I've picked up when it comes to decluttering that I hope are an encouragement for you. If you've been enjoying this video so far, I would appreciate it so much if you would hit the like button. It's such a simple thing, but it truly helps my channel so, so much. And if you'd like, I'd love for you to comment on this video Video, let me know what your problem area is in your home like what area is maybe like the catch-all area or just feels always cluttered out of hand for me <laughs> it is definitely the laundry room for me that's the place there's just stuff everywhere down there so let me know what that place is for you i know it can be a bit strange commenting on videos like this from creators like myself who have smaller channels because there aren't usually very many comments so i appreciate any comment any like anytime you share one of my videos i truly appreciate it so much because it really helps to grow my channel as i'm sharing videos on here about homemaking and motherhood and simple living so thank you so much for that support and with that being said i suppose i could keep on stalling and just chat with you guys but we've got stuff to do so. as i am going through and decluttering and reorganizing something that i really like to keep in mind is to keep things that i'm not using very often i don't want those things that i'm not using daily or weekly to be taking up precious real estate in the areas that are easily accessible so as i'm going through a drawer or a closet if there are things that again i'm not using often i will put those more towards the back or i will move them into our downstairs storage area somewhere where it's a little bit harder to access like our garage whereas obviously think about like your forks and knives those are easily accessible and so the things that I use often I want to find a place for them in a spot that is easily accessible something I have been trying to implement and I think at this point we have a pretty good handle on is that everything has a home. I really think that this is one of the keys to decluttering and simplifying your space is everything needs to have a home. And for me, the things that I'm working on now to find a home for are things like paper clutter. So if you have any tips on paper clutter, managing things like that, definitely let me know. I would love to hear your ideas. But I do feel like 95% of the things that we have in our home do have a home. Our indoor watering can has a home. Danny's toys all have a home. Extra paper towels and toilet paper, those things have a home. And this has truly helped to just simplify and really helped to organize our space. Another thing that helps me to get motivated when I am decluttering is to make the most of it, to make the most of the time that I'm spending doing a task like this. And I love to listen to podcasts or listen to music. Those things really, really help me to kind of get my mind off of the task at hand because oftentimes it is more mindless work. 
and and feel like I'm really using that time profitably. It's also a great way to, you know, throw on a 20 or 30 minute podcast or sermon and during that time just focus on decluttering and then you could even use it as a timer when it's over you're done you're moving on with your day music is also really great for this or even watching a youtube video or listening to a video like this one i love just throwing something on in the background i don't do this all the time but it's helpful sometimes to help to occupy my mind a little bit and the time goes by so much faster so all of these books were in my nightstand these are all ones that i'm going to be keeping in there a couple of these books i want to read next and then also my bible these are all journals that are empty so i'm going to take these downstairs to our bookshelf down there as well as these books that i do want to keep but they don't need to be easily accessible right here and then i have a couple books that i'm going to declutter out as well as a couple of scrunchies also just found a couple more scrunchies to declutter i have quite a few of these so i don't need these smaller ones and then also a pen that doesn't work anymore Well, I had to change into a t-shirt because I'm getting a little bit toasty as we're working here. I'm going to head into our closet and I'm going to go through, I think mainly our drawers or I should say my drawers. I have a couple that I just want to go through. I'm trying to decide if I want to do like a full closet declutter because I also want to go through my maternity things. I think I might save that. I might save that for another day. All right, this is the current state of my side of the closet. <laughs> Looks not too bad. And then you go down here and there is clothing. There's this random bin of just stuff that I need to go through for sure. Another bin up here I could probably take a look in. And then I just want to go through this top drawer for sure. And then maybe my drawers down here these are silas's mine are at the bottom so i might go through all of them again we'll just see how much we get done but in this top drawer i have like accessory type things and i think there are probably some things that i can declutter Open up the window I'm breathing in the last of September I can feel the wind blow And the late summer sky is like a giant ember got some piles going here so here are things that currently do fit still um, I'm gonna keep these in my drawer these I want to keep but they don't fit so I'm gonna put those away these are to declutter out and then these are maternity pants that I'm bringing into my wardrobe um, these also I want to keep but they just don't fit right now and then here's just some random things that i found to declutter out as well
a glimpse at everything we have decluttered from the closet and my bedroom, mostly my nightstand over here. I have some jewelry that I have not worn in ages, so I'm decluttering these things. I just don't reach for them, as well as this watch I never wear. This box was literally just sitting empty in our closet, and I cannot even think of a use for it. So all these scrunchies too, I've had these for years, and they're just getting like pretty stretched out, like the elastic inside, and I did get some new ones recently. So we're saying goodbye to those, a lip gloss that I never wear, these books that we just don't read. I don't even know where they came from. I think they might have been a part of like a book bundle that I got on Marketplace or something. This pencil case I have no use for. And then I have some clothes over here. These are mostly like t-shirts, just things that don't fit anymore that I just don't need, that I just don't have room for as well as this um, cardigan I never reached for. And then here are some jeans that just don't fit. Like these were pre-pregnancy and I have since got different jeans and I'm just not gonna hold on to these that don't fit and probably won't for a while. A sweater and then another sweater back here. And then also this jewelry stand because I have decluttered so much of my jewelry. I just don't need a big stand like this one. Well, I am so pleased with what we've accomplished this week. Um, it feels so nice to just have some areas that have been really cluttered, decluttered and organized and refreshed. I still really want to do the laundry room. I think I'm going to save that for next week as well as the nursery. So I will be sharing those in a separate video. I had planned to include that in this one, but I feel like I have so much footage already and I'm gonna save that for next week. So stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed to continue this decluttering journey. I hope you found this video helpful, inspiring, maybe gently motivating, and that the tips and little tricks that I've shared have been helpful for you. Thanks so much for being here and I will see you in my next video. Bye.